2018 is off to a bone chilling start as a deadly deep freeze brings frigid temperatures to most of the United States. Several deaths in Milwaukee and Chicago are being blamed on the cold weather. This as lake effect snow blanketed parts of upstate New York. Wind chills in most of the country are also plunging far below normal all the way down to South Texas and parts of Iowa. Wind chill uh, temperatures there fell to negative 31 degrees. I can't imagine no. what that feels like. DeMarco Morgan is in Niagara Falls, New York, where it's so cold, the water seems to be stuck. Thick mist and a bone chilling freeze has turned parts of Niagara Falls into ice. On the Canadian side, the area around the Horseshoe Falls has been frozen solid for days. From coast to coast, bitter cold is gripping the country. In Texarkana, Arkansas, the intense cold froze this fountain from top to bottom. And Washington State, near the British Columbia border, a powerful ice storm took down power lines and damaged more than 30 poles. And in Apex, North Carolina, three hunters had to be rescued after icy water their boat had just broken through froze again. It can get really cold really quick on days like that out there. The frigid temperatures are also causing problems for emergency crews. In Washington, D.C. Monday, firefighters used a flare to try and thaw a frozen ladder. The water freezes on our equipment, um, on our air packs, on our masks. And in Nahant, Massachusetts, firefighters covered in ice worked to put out a house fire, but found water in some of their hydrants frozen. <laughs> the icy weather didn't stop hundreds of New Year's Day revelers from diving head first into 2018. While some places called off their annual polar bear plunge in Coney Island, New York, the 115-year-old tradition continued in the 37-degree Atlantic Ocean. I feel like I'm going a little numb, but I'm happy that I did it. Temperatures outside the water hovered around 17 degrees, nearly 35 degrees colder than last year. It's exhilarating and extremely cold. And CBS News correspondent uh, DeMarco Morgan. DeMarco, you are in uh, Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, you might as well be somewhere close to the Arctic Circle. I can see ice on the camera lens. Oh my, I feel like I went to sleep in a deep freezer and woke up in a deep freezer. But I can tell you this, it's absolutely beautiful, but extremely dangerous. Just look behind me. This is uh, such a winter wonderland, if you want to add that with the falls uh, here. Uh, just adding a, a beautiful picture to it. Uh, many people have been coming out and, and taking selfies and, you know, doing a little bit of everything. But if you are headed outside, you want to be extremely careful because it only takes a matter of minutes for frostbite uh, to set in. But it is a beautiful picture. I've been out here for the the past couple of years covering the Niagara Falls. I think this is my beat when things start to freeze over. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is beautiful to take in. You know, DeMarco, the Scandinavians have a saying, there's no such thing as bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. I'm wondering who is out there. You said there's some people taking selfies. Are there a lot of tourists in the area? And if more people are going to come out there, what should they be looking out for? Well, you know, we've seen a couple of people just walk up uh, and, and grab some pictures. And you talked about layers. You want to dress in layers and layers and bundle up. I'm actually bundled up from uh, head to toe. Uh, but if you're going to be headed out here, uh, Vlad, the best advice is to, again, dress in layers. And, and like I just said, try not to have uh, too much skin uh, exposed. But it is most certainly something uh, to take in. We also want to tell you that many of the schools, uh, not just here, but throughout New England, uh, parts of the South, uh, the Midwest, uh, they are canceling uh, some schools. Uh, for today and also delaying the start of schools because of that weather. So if you're heading out to work, uh, you want to make sure again that you try to get a head start before you get on these roads. Be extremely careful on the roads and if you can, if your child most certainly has to go to school because you don't have any other choice, make sure they are bundled up very, very good because it is dangerous out here. All right, DeMarco Morgan, I'm certainly sure that uh, the picture of you with what you're wearing and where you're standing, that will be enough to motivate parents to get their kids looking just like that. We appreciate it, DeMarco. Thank you very uh, much for your reporting. So. Let's hope so. All right, Vlad. <laughs>